Are you thinking of moving to Big Bear, California? Because if you are, in this video, I'm gonna take you around Big Bear, California. I'm gonna show you some different houses in different neighborhoods and in different price points. That way you can gauge what may fall within your budget. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna share a market recap of the current real estate market here in Big Bear, California. So let's get after it right now. So if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in Big Bear, California, then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Big Bear, California. My name is Jonathan, the team and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us a message. That way we can help you make a smooth move to Big Bear, California. Now I'm out here in the village in Big Bear, California. What a lot of great shops, a lot of things to do here. You can see there is a gift shop right behind me over there. A lot of boutiques, a lot of good restaurants. Now, just to give you a little bit of insight of Big Bear, California, right? Big Bear does have a population of a little over 12,000 people. 12,000 people slowly, slowly growing. Now, what is Big Bear really known for? They're really known as a resort style getaway for us Southern California natives. This is where we come during our winter months and summer months as well, where we can come wind and relax, enjoy the snow, or just, you know, take a deep breath of mother nature and what it has to offer out here in Big Bear. A whole lot of amenities is one of the one major reasons people really love it out here, right? The amenities are like to die for, right? You can go snowboarding, skiing, tubing during the day, during the night, right? You can go fishing, you can go hiking, you can go mountain biking. You can do so much, right? Not to include your indoor too. You can go bowling, you can go to the movie theaters. You can do so much stuff within Big Bear. They got so many things going on. Uh, hello, Remax of the competition, right? <laughs> I'm just joking around. Um, but at any rate, yes, a lot going on here in the village area. Again, a lot of boutique stores and gift shops, um, a lot of great restaurants. And if you are an avid, uh, you just like to drink a little bit, right? You like to taste uh, some a couple of beers out here or some wine. They do have some sweet, sweet spots. Now, if you just like to go out there and taste different types of food, they do have a variety of foods. Now, I also do want to mention the schools here in Big Bear, right? I always mention that in any video that I have. The schools here in Big Bear, they are about average. Uh, average schools are slightly above average here in Big Bear. They're not something to die for. However, there's still good education here. What I love about the village here where I'm currently at is you are right in front of the lake. You got amazing views. I mean, you guys can see all around me how amazing it is here. Uh, I mean, I know <laughs> when I bring the family here, we have such a great time because it's just something to die for. I mean, you know, the nature is one of the biggest things I adore. Uh, my family adores. We are avid people that love to be out and about. And if you're that type of person, Big Bear might just be the place for you. Now I will say this, a lot of people do end up getting secondary homes here in Big Bear, right? Just because they can. If you're one of those people that are looking to invest and get a secondary home, Big Bear is a great opportunity. And the reason I say that is because you can have somewhat affordable uh, small cabins here within Big Bear that I'm also going to show you like I mentioned <laughs> So we are going to show you some homes in the $300,000 range $400,000 range and even 500,000 so you definitely want to stay tuned for that So now what we're gonna do is I'm really just gonna get in the car now We're gonna go out to the first house and we're gonna get this tour started. So let's head on to the first home <music> So here we are, we're at the first home of the day. This home right behind me is currently listed for sale for $369,000. It is a two bedroom, one bath. It does have 936 
square feet was built in 1980. Now, what I personally love about this community, it is re relatively affordable. So this is the Sugarloaf community here in Big Bear. Um, you're not completely far away from everything and anything, right? It's gonna take you a couple of minutes. Now, they do have their own little market here in the Sugarloaf community. So if you are here in the Sugarloaf community, just know that they have a little corner market out here where you can get some groceries, right? So you don't have to go more towards the city or more out to kind of get some some daily needs. So that is a really nice feature about this community. Uh, very, very quiet, um, very quiet community. Now, I will say this. This community does have a lot of Airbnb or short term, short term, short, 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 short term rentals. So, you know, if you're okay with it, then that's completely um, perfect, right? So there is short term rental. So if you are an investor, maybe looking to kind of just get something as a getaway, perfect low location here now the schools if you're trying to make this a primary residency where you're moving to big bear permanent time and you want to stay out here in the mountains right and enjoy all the beautiful snow the scenery and during the summer months right you absolutely can so let me tell you about the schools the schools here in this community we have the elementary school that's rated a six out of ten we have the middle school that's rated a four out of ten and we have the high school that's rated a four out of ten so that right there is what three hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars can get you in big bear california on to the second home So here we are, we're at the second home of the day here in Big Bear. This home right behind me is a three bedroom, two bath. It does have 1,200 square feet and it is listed for $450,000 and it was built in 1980. Now, we're not too far from where we just were over there in the Sugarloaf community. We're actually maybe five minutes. Now, to your everyday wants and needs, whether it's grocery stores, maybe like Vons or banks, you're about 10 minutes away. From when we were in Sugarloaf, you're looking more of a 15 minute away drive. I know I didn't really state that, just making sure you know, right? So yes, you can be in you know your areas where a little bit more populated and where you're trying to get your food or your groceries in a 10 minute drive. Yes, there is little convenience stores and other little general stores that you can probably stop by a little bit closer now the location here to the ski resorts right into the lake again 10 minutes to 15 minutes to the ski resorts 15 to 20 minutes now if it is during one of the major holidays <laughs> you better be bright and early because it can easily take up 30 minutes to even an hour during those holidays because it is just jam-packed here on that 38 because everyone and their mother, of course, are trying to come out here, enjoy the snow, go skiing, go snowboarding, go tubing. So that right there is kind of a really neat feature, right, of Big Bear. Now, the schools here in this area are similar to Sugarloaf. The elementary is rated a 6 out of 10. The middle school is rated a 4 out of 10. And the high school, a 4 out of 10. And that right there is what $450,000 can get you here in Big Bear, California. On to the last. So here we are, we're at the third home of the day and this home right behind me is currently listed for sale for $540,000. It is another three bedroom. It does have two baths and again, this one just like the last one has 1,200 square feet. This one was is actually newer, was built in 1990. But look how beautiful this house is. I mean, just a gorgeous, amazing house. Beautiful location. It's really, really neat. Now why is this house priced a little bit higher than the last one even though it's this exact same square footage the same bedrooms the same bath well quick little teleportation but the reason that it is priced the same it is because even though hey they're the same square footage same bath again it is location for this home it is closer to you know pretty much your daily wants and needs even so from the second and the first home right you kind of noticed in the first home um, if I pull an aerial map view of that first home, you can see, you know, it's probably 10 to 15 minutes again from those grocery stores. While this home in particular at $540,000, 
it's right here down the road i can literally just take an exit off the block and hey next thing you know within a two minute drive i'm literally at all the convenience stores my daily wants and needs my the banking you know my gas station uh foods and restaurants so everything is fairly typically closer right and so that does take into consideration when you're purchasing a home the closer it is to convenience the more you might likely uh pay in higher purchase price not not always the case but in this case yes right and so that is one of the considerations on why this home is priced the way it is compared to the last home even though it's the exact same square footage it's just the convenience to everything is much much closer so that right there is what five hundred and forty thousand dollars can get you in big bear california you might be wondering why i just you know switched up to my office it's because the audio there is a big truck coming in you know just too much noise at any rate again market recap of big bear big bear california is an awesome awesome place to live to go vacation to have a nice investment property that's what you're looking for right it's an awesome place it again resort getaway for us southern californians or for the people that live in big bear it's a get it's a getaway all the time because there's so much things to do as you saw like within the village it's a cool little spot again with the skiing and the snowboarding and the night tubing right you can go bowling movie theaters amazing restaurants that you can go you can go in the summer months fishing and go in the lake you, know, you can have a great time you can do the mountain biking or maybe you're a homebody you just want to stay indoors you absolutely can so much wildlife out there as well it's so amazing that you get to see you know mother nature at its finest while you're in big bear it's just a great place to be a great place to live and a great place to visit so again whether you're thinking about moving or just visiting you can always give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email we would love to help you make a smooth move to Big Bear, California. Thank you for watching Living in South California.